What happened was I was I had local success. You know what I mean, I had local success in New Orleans, and uh, Master P had some of his producers and artists in the city. They decided to start working. <laughs> Uh, Baton Rouge, which is like about 50 miles out of New Orleans, you know, like 60 miles an hour or so. So, um, me and X uh, didn't mind getting me on a song. So much love and respect for me. And I was grateful she came and got me and Mac, you know. And uh, got me and Mac, sat down, told to us that she wanted to get us on a song. We went there to the song, no problem. Um, and she got us on a song with Kenny and Abel. So it was me, me, Kenny, Abel, and Mac. You know what I'm saying? Five hollow points, I believe that's what it was. So from there, um, KLC was like, you know, we need to be working more. I'm telling you, you know, I think, you know, you got it. So he brought me around, which I was already signed to a label, independent label, outside of. Big Boy Records that most people don't know about. That's how I actually got to No Limit. And Raquel brought me up. He wasn't too fine meeting new people all the time and stuff and all that way up, right? So I remember him and Kiel had argued about him bringing me to the studio. <laughs> and I felt bad, like, damn, you know, the homies want me to come around and show them how I could be an attribute. And he like, man, you bring these dudes around here and <laughs> all this type of stuff. So Kiel, he asked me to kind of sort of put his career online, I put his um, friendship, his camaraderie on the line, you know, what his, the person he was working with, you know what I'm saying, Master P, which ended up being a great thing, you know, and um, I did uh, Don't Mess Around on the Body soundtrack, and man, the world ate it up, it was over, you know what I mean, it was on me. You know, so he put it in an awesome part of the movie. Don't, don't mess around my song, and it just made it just that much more. You know what I mean? So I loved it. You know what I mean, like I said, man, this isn't the thing about it, man. I, got, I, I think I got great chemistry with Master P, and it's a shame that we are not doing music to this day. What did I learn from the No Limit experience was um, having a having a great work ethic. Having a great work ethic is what I got out of it. I, I found a place to hone my my um, my abilities. You know what I mean? A place that I can appreciate my abilities and they share those same abilities as well. To go get it and grind and want to stay in the studio and work, work, work. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I learned. I took that with me. I call it as as though I graduate from No Limit University. You know, and I got my degree, and this is what I'm doing with it today, eating off of it. X 14 years, 15 years later. We're family. We, you know, uh, not only we made music with each other, we bonded and made brotherhood and camaraderie and history with each other. So, of course, man, I'm always, I'm eating at Mia X's restaurant. I'm, I'm always sending my best wishes to Pete, Master P, you know what I'm saying? Every chance I get if, through somebody. Um, I'm working on a system, uh, C, Corey Miller, and Mac McKinley Phipps the best way I can, and whereby I contribute to what they're going with as far as being um, incarcerated falsely against their will, behind um, a misperception of what they assume that they've done something. Mm -hmm. um, you name it, Servon, KLC, you know, Moby, you know. Uh, yeah, the answer is yes. Um, as far as our relationship go with Magic and his song, that was so nice wife to Chastity. When he got married, I threw a bachelor party. So I better tell you that. How did I receive the news? I can't remember who called me. But I remember just being sad that the thought of it happened more than it actually happened. It's the thought that someone even called me of, you know, of that type of news, you know. So, um, it hit me once I got this funeral from his wife's funeral. I went there to be a ball bearer and um, 
they didn't end up where they needed me to, to be a ball player once I was there or whatever. But it hit me like, man, this is real. This dude is, him and his wife passed together. This is hard to go and go to He would be missed, man. Not only by his immediate family, but the people as myself. Magic and his uh, beautiful white chest. Real good people, man. Um, such a loss at so young of age, you know. My favorite memory of Magic is making him laugh. Everything I did made him laugh. And I couldn't figure that out for the life of me. He'd be in tears. And I used to always hear him say, what do you used to call his wife? Oh, man, what do you used to call her? For the junior. Something, man. Oh, I could hear him right now. Baby fiend so stupid, he got me in tears. I can't fucking stand it. I can't fucking stand it. He got me laughing out of it. Man, why the fuck I even call you? He got me in tears. My stomach hurt. Stop it. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, it's too throat. You know I mean? That's, that's, got one of my fondest members to think of, uh, you know, just having this kid, you know, crack up much as he was. I mean, literally in tears laughing, you know. So I did, I thought about, and I still do think about doing it. My brother was always on me about it. Then I need to remake a lot of the songs on Street Life Now. I just, it's coming. I can honestly say it's coming. But as an artist, I just don't operate like that. You know what I mean? Just cause this person acts with this, Therefore, it may not even come out dope, you know what I mean? Compared to I let it happen organically the way, you know, it should happen. So, but do know it's coming. That's what this TGIF is all about, you know, it's street life where we last left off. Yeah, actually we was in the mix of doing a sequel way years back. It just that something happened, I don't know what. Me and Paul just released a joint recently called Paul. And uh, it is definitely a field of the head buses. Um, that, that texture, you know. The streets need that too. You know? Every, and my music, me, who I am, is about the everyday human being. That some days are good, some days are bad, some days are nice, some days are horrible. You know, that's the music is. You know? Every day, we're not the same. You know, uh, it's business, you know, I guess, you know. I got a, a, an amazing amount of respect for um, young money, cash money, records, and as well as Mr. Bill. And I feel like, you know, they're figuring it out. You know what I mean? They were friends before. Guarantee you, we friends after, you know. Nothing too much shock, no more, you know. Nothing too much more shocking, especially when you got that much of a handle on the music business. So when you know what the sign, what signs mean, what, you know. I'm working on TGIF, thank God is fame. I'll be dropping soon. And under the International Jones brand, I'll be dropping MFOK, Music for Our Kind. TGIF is Vintage Fame. That's when they're found in the street life, hair buses. That's what that is. Uh, MFOK is OG the Jar, you know, Jet Life, you know, mm -hmm. Iron Gang shit. Peace family, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check us out on bout.online.com. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook for exclusive playlists and social media for all different types of segments and content.